Hey folks, Gareth here. And whilst it's not tech related, um, I am doing this for the readership. And there's there's some things that we have to look into on this website and in, in, in life in general to experience and pass on. And for science and for, the, for mankind itself, I have been asked by Brew Barrel to have a look at one of their kits that allows you to brew your own, I think this is beer, I'm not too sure, uh, in a fast and easy way and it's ready to drink in one week. So what we're going to do is a, maybe a series of videos or depending on how long this video is, uh, we'll expand it as we go along and record the experience of this 30 pound drum that allows you to uh, create your own beer. Sounds fantastic. All right, so there's a QR code there if you want more information. And I'll give you a bit of a guided tour around the box. Okay, so starting here, it says easy to use. Everything you need, pack it together with your brew barrel. Okay, step by step. With help from the step-by-step -step instructions, you will easily become a master brewer yourself. Done in 10 minutes. You can take care of all the preparations in about 10 minutes. Afterwards, your barrel will ferment for five days at ambient temperature. Hmm, okay. All right, I'm quite interested to see what kind of temperature it is because I, I know last time I tried to brew my own beer, it had to be at a constant of 21 degrees or it went a bit weird. Okay, so uh, I'm ready to enjoy in one week after brewing. Woo! Cheers! Yeah, okay. There's uh, some people having a lively party, all coming around to see the brew barrel. And they even brought nibbles. Okay. And on the bottom, there is nothing. Top. Inside, we have a drum, a five liter drum, I believe. Uh, customized beer, there's a little cap here. Pull and turn. Alright, uh, brew your own. Brew barrel. Just brew it. Very simple. A uh, bit of stuff there, just a little bit of information. On the top we have a seal. Uh, follow service notes. Uh, warnings and instructions. Barrel is antiseptic. Only open the keg before you start br the brewing process so we won't go in and have a look now and uh, nothing on the bottom okay so that's a that's a barrel I have there awesome nothing else in the box aside from this little just brew it box all right this looks like uh, the biz we have a big thing of barbecue sauce here no no this is malt extract Okay, uh, empty the malt extract completely into the barrel. And uh, some uh, guidance there, I'm sure in the instructions that'll all become clear. It's not barbecue so Okay, and this is American oak, so this must be the flavoring for the particular flavor that this is. It's nicely say on the box. But they have a, a, an abundance of different flavours available. American oak. Add cotton. Add cotton hose self-contained into the barrel. Alright. Next up is a little rubber bungy type thing. That has a switch of some description. No actual instructions on that as to what it's for. And we have a little, that's your hops. Brilliant. Stay, oh, they're numbered, I see. Ah, two, three. Uh, instructions, probably useful. Four, and this is the heifer. Hefe, hefe. It's a packet of stuff. And a couple of coasters. Hey there. Oh. Mm. Three coasters in all. And I 
guessing those were supposed to be in like that, possibly. And that's about it. So we will have a quick look at the instructions and see what this is all about. And then go and start doing it. Alright, so delivery contents is everything here. One empty 5 litre keg. One bottle of malt extract. One bottle of hop extract. One packet of yeast. One pressure control valve. Three beer mats. One slightly damaged. Uh, re uh, remove the transparent keg from the top. Okay, remove from the top of the transparent keg. Uh, fill with malt. So it does seem to be fairly simple to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take this downstairs and start getting it going. Okay, so here we are down at the sink end of the utility room. We're going to have a go at putting this together. Should take about 10 minutes, they say. Okay, so according to the instructions, our first step is step one, remove the transparent lid from the top of the keg. I'll start with moving the sticker as well. Okay, and fill the keg with the malt extract. Okay, it's thick and sticky. Oops. Okay, so round about here is where the marker is for the cold water. Not that we can really see. Oh, we can just about see. There we go. We'll use that to get the last of the malt out of the bottom of it. Okay, so boiling water has been gotten. Uh, the container's really quite hot. Also, the plastic is quite soft, so it's quite difficult to pick it up without it slipping. All right. Ouchie. <clears throat> All right, pour water into brew barrel. Reseal the keg with the transparent lid, like so. Shake your brew barrel for about 30 seconds. Press down on the lid while shaking. Okay, it feels like it's about to fizz up and explode. Whew. Next up, remove the lid. Seriously? You can now throw it away. Fill the malt extract bottle with cold water up to the marker at the top. Pour this into the keg. <laughs> right in the mouth. <laughs> Five. And you can now see a tiny bit of froth. Now pour the hops 
and the yeast into the brew barrel. If you have chosen any additional flavours, please add them now as well. This is our little vial of hops. Add completely into the brew barrel. And then our flavour as well. We only have the one bag of flavour. And this is the American Oak. It's a little baggy. And inside is a Hessian bag. Oh, yeast. So the yeast came in a packet. Okay, so we just shove this in. Goodbye. Farewell, little bag. And now close the keg with the included pressure control valve, which is this doohickey here. All right. Pour some of the excess water off there. Make sure it isn't leaking from the valve. Alright, okay then, so there we are. Now, it says for us to stand the keg up vertically so that the valve is on top. Now your beer needs to ferment for five days at room temperature, follow the, followed by two days maturation in a fridge. Today's work has been done, congratulations. So tomorrow we need to turn the keg upside down for 10 seconds, after this turn the keg back into its original orientation. Then leave it for four days without moving it. After five days, the first stage of fermentation is complete. Now put your brew barrel into a refrigerator for at least two days. Okay, so we'll crack it open in seven days time. Okay, so it's been a full seven days since we started this video, this odyssey into brewing our own beer in the house and we have done everything that is required of us it was relatively simple to do uh, to update uh, 24 hours after we put it aside uh, i turned it upside down for 10 seconds back around again and then after five days put it in the fridge it's been in there for two days and here we are we pour ourselves a pint so it says here pull and turn pull what exactly Pull that and okay. So oh, oops, we pull and turn. Now pull it out. One-handed. Okay, that's a pretty terrible pint by me, and I've managed to spill it. <laughs> Down there. Smells good. Yeah, so be careful with the uh, the nozzle if you're having to go with this. So we've got a bit of a head on it. It looks somewhat cloudy as well. We're going to have a go because I'm dying to have a sample of it. Okay, so initially it's actually lovely. It's rather refreshing. And not a big one on flavour, however it does have a nice refreshing flavour to it. Little bag of bark is obviously still in here, flavouring the brew. And it seems like a rather tasty way to uh, to have yourself a brew. It, it really is a talking point of a party, you know. It would be something for you and your mates to sit around and discuss how you made it. I wouldn't say that people will be going out and buying it as a weekly thing to replace their carry out or replace the beers that they would have because to be quite honest it's a little easier to just pick up several bottles of differing ale you know i now have five liters of beer that i have to drink probably in a few days that that's that's not a bad thing oh I should maybe turn that that might stop it dripping um had this been ready for a bit of a party i was having then yeah, absolutely, this would be great. 
But for 30 pounds, put this together, to have this sitting at the side in a party, to have people ask about it, and whether or not it would cater an entire party, you might have to have two or three of them. There is a bit of a expense and also a bit of proactive thinking in order to get the best results out of it. I like it. As you can see, it's it's quite a heavy beer, this one in particular. There is more of a lager and a pilsner. The head is frothy. The mix is somewhat cloudy, but it's not repugnant or anything. It's it's not too heavy. It's not like a very a very meaty stout or anything. It's it's nice. It's refreshing. And given that it's been in the fridge for two days, and that's part of the brewing process. It, it comes out as a, a rather tasty treat to enjoy afterwards. So I would give review, uh, Brew Barrel another go uh, whenever it comes to having a bit of a party or having the boys around or something. And uh, and I'm pleased I, I embarked on this. Nice one, Brew Barrel. Worthwhile.